Demi is back with another daily devotional reading from our wonderful planet. Today is April 18th. Our title, The Nine O'Clock Toad. All the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast. Proverbs 15, verse 15. Melissa likes toads. Toads are frogs that often live on land instead of water. Their skin is drier than that of frogs. There are many different kinds of toads. You're lucky if you have them living near your house, for they catch insects. No matter where Melissa lived, she soon became acquainted with the toads that lived there. Melissa knew a toad that hopped out every warm night at 9 p.m. to sit next to a flower pot under the porch light. Sometimes Melissa picked him up and patted his fat belly, but usually she just left him to catch bugs and to croak. During the day, he slept in the shade of the flowers in his favorite pot. Sometimes on hot days, Melissa would sprinkle him with water. In the fall, the toad buried his fat self down into the flower pot dirt. If there was an Indian summer, he'll come out during the day and wiggle back into his cave at night, back end first. Once winter set in, though he stayed under the dirt for months, sleeping in his cozy burrow, probably dreaming of gnats and mosquitoes. In the summer, he was back sitting on the patio by his flower pot, puffing out his throat and croaking his song through the night. This went on for years. A toad can live up to 15 years. He never went looking for a pond or a better flower pot. He seemed perfectly content with where he was. That's a pretty good way to live, don't you think? Of course, adventure is fun, but Melissa Toad's friend seemed to know that it's easier to be happy if we enjoy what we do, have instead of always wishing for more. No matter what you have, remember, anyone who has Jesus as a friend always has something to croak about. I'll see you next time on our next reading.